So, do you guys remember about two months ago, right? I made a video uh, right there, and it was about the Arc browser, right? It's this awesome AI-powered web browser. Well, the people over actually at Arc ha have been working a lot, like a lot to make sure this app is updated and works even better than it has before. And so since that two month ago video, there's been so many amazing different updates that have come to the Arc app that it warrants a whole nother video. So you don't have to have watched my other video, although I do recommend you go watch it because why not? Uh, however, this video is just going to be kind of like a part two and just talking about some new updates and some new awesome things uh, that have been introduced. So first off, I would like to point out when you actually rotate the phone into landscape, all of these little uh, websites will also rotate with it uh, just to make it a little bit more friendly for all angles. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about is actually browse for me. So if you don't recall, uh, when you type in something like, let's say, how to open a coconut, you can click browse for me and it will use the different AI tools in order to create a small little website for you. And so what you'll notice is when I click it, number one, there's been a much more updated design change. So everything looks, again, more modern, more along the theme of ARC in general. Uh, but it's also been updated to be faster and more accurate as well as include more recent information. And interestingly enough, if you type in a different language, like for example, if I say what time is it in Spanish and then click browse for me, uh, it will know what I said, of course, and then it will actually translate it into English because that's my uh, default settings. But you'll see it works just like that. So again, nothing crazy. It's just been quicker, a little bit more advanced and a little easier to use. Now, of course, the next thing I would like to talk about is the pinch to summarize feature. And again, it's one of those things where uh, if you don't remember from last time or haven't seen it yet, if I kind of take a website here, so this is how to open a coconut and then pinch, it'll actually generate a whole nother website for you, just giving you a summary. Uh, so it works very similar to the browse for me feature, except it's more in depth for one specific website. And really all they've done here is just kind of make it a little bit quicker, a little bit more accurate, use more recent information just to kind of improve the overall experience, which I would have to say is quite nice. And so if I was to type in like, what is the best time to upload a video in New Jersey, then we'll click enter, give it a second. It'll obviously pull through different uh, websites. And so here's this first one right here. We'll click this, we'll uh, pinch to summarize, sorry. Give it a second as it's generating all of the information. And it'll just give you a bit of a, uh, a summary here. Again, super easy. It kind of just uses AI to summarize everything nicely and it can make for just a great experience. Now here's another awesome feature. So if you click these little menus right here, so again, this is your recent websites you've used, and then you'll see another button down here that looks like a computer. So if you click that, it'll actually prompt you to sign in with an ARC account, or if you don't have one, you can create one. And that basically allows everything to sync from your computer to your phone and vice versa. Uh, but yes, originally it was designed for Mac. So it's awesome that you can now sync it all together and use Arc as one app for all devices. And then lastly, if you downloaded some kind of file through a website through Arc, uh, you'll click the settings icon in our menu here, click that, and then you'll see downloads here. So I personally don't have any, but it will bring you straight to your um, files app whatever it is on your device. Uh, you can see Arc Search here. And then of course, I don't have anything downloaded right now, uh, but it sounds like it's going to be a bit better about downloading it and putting it into the Files app without having uh, any issues stopping that, which is of course just a little nicer to use overall. All right, now for just a couple smaller features, nothing crazy, but just, you know, nice little things. Uh, and the first is actually going to be the little loading bar. So when you refresh, you'll see the little loading bar. It's only there for just a second. Uh, let's go to a different website, but you'll see it actually is nice and colorful. So instead of it just being a gray bar going from left to right, it's a, l a little bit nicer to look at, right? Uh, and so I think it's kind of fun, honestly, just to like refresh the website like this. I think it looks awesome. Again, not a huge feature, but still something new, something kind of fun. Okay, so this one's kind of fun too. So there's actually new app icons that you can easily access for the app. So we'll go into our different menus right here, click the settings, and then you'll go down to where it says change app icon. You click on that and you'll see it gives you a couple different uh, ones you can use, a lot of different styles. Of course, if you have the minimalist sort of look where you have black and white or white and black or, or something like that, obviously they have these and then some fun ones with a couple different designs as well. 
so this is the default or this is the new default. Uh, so I kind of want to set mine to just a black and white and you'll see it works like that. And then if we go to the home screen, uh, it'll actually set just like that. And then of course we wanted to change it. Let's say we do something like this right here. Click that, go to the home screen and there we are. So again, not a huge feature, but it is something that is kind of cool and just a, a little bit more customization when it comes to the app. And of course, lastly, just in general, how the app works is a bit more refined and easier to use as you obviously close out different websites like this. Uh, very nice as you swipe up, you know, you can press the arrow, but it also is just a smooth little swipe just like that. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's just clean, right? It's easy to use, it's clean. You can go between things really quickly. Uh, now that you are actually able to sync, you can access different accounts and that stuff like that. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been an awesome video. Uh, I love covering all kinds of different software as well as obviously hardware too. Uh, and no, I may honestly make a third part to the Arc Browser video just because it's constantly getting updated and awesome things are being added. Uh, so if you want to see more, of course, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell as it helps me out a ton. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye, guys.